Hello 29,000 guys, what's up? It's me, Webs from Slidenote here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with packages with the help of an example in Java. In the last video, I talked about the theory behind packages, why we need them, and what do we actually do with them. In this video, it's actually time to do stuff. So here in NetBeans, I'm going to purposely make a new project just to show you something. So you go here, you simply say new project, you say Java, Java application, click next. And at this point, it's going to ask you a name, call it package test if you want. And then it says create main class here at the bottom. And notice the way it is written. It says package test dot package test. The one on the left side, which is completely in small letters, is the name of the package that NetBeans is going to create for us. The one on the right side, package test, is the name of the class that NetBeans is again going to create for us and put it inside the package called package test. Look at the way the name is written. This is the package based naming syntax, which we will get to very shortly in this video. For now, I'll just disable this option, click finish. As soon as I do that, there's my project created in the projects window on the left side. You go to source packages here, you see there's a default package written inside. In other words, if I create a class now, if I go here, say right click new, and if I say Java class, just call it A here. And if I don't specify any name for the package, Notice the warning below. It says it's highly recommended that you do not place Java classes in the default package. If you click finish at this point, this class A is going to be put inside the default package, which means you don't have to do any extra work for configuring it. But, but usually, you shouldn't do this. What we are going to do rather is actually delete this class here. Safely delete, refactor, then right click on source packages. We can say new and we can say Java class. And we're going to make a class called car. Now this car class is going to be inside a package called transportation. So we're going to say transportation here. Now make sure that the name is completely in small letters. Package names are always written that way, unlike class names. So you click finish at this point. And what you will see on the left side now is there's a package transportation inside which there's a car.java. Now let me show you how this thing looks. On your system now if you come to the place where the projects are created on your hard drive you will notice that there is the folder source or NB project inside package test which is basically inside NetBeans projects so go in go to source and take a look at that there is a folder which is created called transportation now inside this folder there is car.java and this is why in the previous video I said that packages are very much like folders because now all the class files are going to be put together along with card or Java inside this folder called transportation which is basically the package in Java. Now we can add another class by right clicking here on transportation and say new Java class call it bus here this time and click finish. Now both bus.java and car.java are inside the same package. And notice the first statement inside the class bus. It says package transportation. So if I go about this statement, if I say something like class B, it's an error immediately. It says class interface enum expected. Now that is kind of an ambiguous message. But what it basically is trying to say is that this package transportation must be the first statement in your Java code. You can have comments before that, but you cannot have code before that and that's the meaning of that so just remove this here and make sure that it's the first statement again inside the class car.java if you go here again there's the same thing package transportation now this simply specifies that your class car is going to be placed inside the package known as transportation on the system so to create an object of bus inside car it's pretty simple first we'll have to write our main method Inside the main method, we can simply say bus b equals to new bus. No problems with that, right? You go to your class bus.java again, simply create a main method here. And inside the main method, you can say car c equals to new car. No big deal at all. But let's take a look at what happens if we have another package. So let's go here to source packages and say new. And then we can select a Java package, which will be called my package 
and let's click finish here inside the package my package let's create a class which will be called new java class called test and click finish now inside test let me actually put a main method by saying psvm tab on netbeans and there's my main method now here if i want to make an object of bus or car notice something very carefully bus and car lie in their own folder transportation my package is a separate folder with the class test inside it test as such is not aware of the existence of the other two classes in a different folder unless you import it in other words if you say car see here this is gonna give you an error it says cannot find symbol and the reason is your java is trying to find this class car inside your current package my package since there is no such class it's giving you an error but we can fix that error by going at the top and say import transportation dot car put a semicolon and this is the way you import stuff into other classes that belong to a different package same way if you want you to create an object of bus here you can simply say bus b but that will give you an error so you have to go at the top and you can say import transportation dot bus put a semicolon now there is a way that you can avoid writing the same thing again and again we can just remove the statement completely and we can say import transportation dot star that means import all the classes from the folder transportation inside my current package or current class which is test.java this is pretty good for this simple program here because we have only two classes however if you try to write something like import java dot awt dot take a look at the number of classes inside this directory and now if you say star here you're actually going to degrade performance by a small bit because you're importing a lot of classes and your RAM needs to keep track of all the names or class names within this package that you just imported. So be careful to ensure that you only import what is necessary and not all every time. Especially if you're working on a mobile device like Blackberry or Android or J2ME where resources are limited. So now that you've seen how the import statements work, let's take a look at something else. Now the question arises, is there a way to avoid this import statement and still do stuff? Let's see what happens. If you remove that, it's going to give you an error, obviously, because car and bus are not known. But you can avoid the error by saying transportation.car. In other words, use the full name, that is the package name, dot class name, every time you use it in your code. So that way you can avoid the error. So to create an object, you can again say new car. And that will work perfectly now this is the long way of doing things if you don't want to write import statements but don't because in the long run with a large number of classes you're gonna create quite a mess writing this kind of statement so best that you remove this here remove this statement as well here simply go at the top and say import transportation dot bus now you don't always have to write import statements on your own if you remove both of these you can actually fix them automatically so over here where it says cannot find symbol just press alt enter on netbeans and as you can see it says add an import for transportation.car and then you can just do that and at the top there's the class automatically imported again you can do the same thing press alt enter on bus add an import for transportation.bus and there you go there's our automatic import statement this is a good thing because you don't have to write everything on your own now let's take a look at one thing about what happens when there's actually a collision. So let me remove this import statements at the top. Let me remove the code here inside public static void main. Now inside the package, my package, I will go here, create another class, saying Java class, call that bus as well. Click finish. So at this point, there's my class bus created. Now notice carefully there are two bus classes in different packages. So if I go inside test.java, if I try to say bus by b equals to new bus, you notice carefully it doesn't give you any error. But don't mistake that because the bus class that you're currently trying to create as an object is basically the one that is contained in the same package as the class test.java. If you actually want to re refer to the other bus class, then you have to say something like transportation.bus b2 is new 
transportation dot bus over here. So when there are multiple class names, you have to make sure that you use the package name properly to avoid conflicts in your code. And if you try to remove the transportation dot in the constructor part, it gives you an error again because new bus is trying to create an object of that bus class which is in your same package, my package. However, transportation.bus b2 is a variable of that bus class which is in the different package. So again, you'll have to write the whole package name dot constructor name while you're trying to create the object of the bus class that belongs to a different package. Now, so this is all that we got to talk about in terms of packages. Now, again, if you have noticed, there's your system class which you can directly use, let's say system.out.println over here in your code that you do all the time, right? Now, system class is actually contained inside import java.lang.system over here. And yet, you never write this import statement in your code anywhere because it is automatically imported for you guys when you're trying to write code in Java. So you don't have to write an import statement for anything from the java.lang package because that's automatically added for you. So hopefully you guys have understood what are the different things that can be done with packages and how exactly stuff works inside packages. In the next video, we are going to talk about access modifiers and packages again. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.